Hi everyone. Hope everybody's doing good today. Well, today I am back. I'm going to be doing a review of OSM Mavericks. So, OSM Mavericks was just released just yesterday. Her Apple's keynote. I got the Gold Master, so I really haven't done a review, but I'm going to do a review now. So, new features. They've got quite a new features I want to talk about. Finder has some new features. There's some new technologies in here. I'm going, to just, I'm going to basically do the best I can to explain as much as I can as possible. So, first of all, let's start with Activity Monitor. Alright, so, so they have, like, Apple has apparently redone Activity Monitor a little bit. They've got, given, like, a little bit of a redesign. So, this is, like, the new CPU information, all the stuff, basically. Everything about your system, user idle information, that kind of stuff. But memory is interesting. So my Mac Pro, I've got 24 gigabytes of RAM in it. And what they have done now in Mavericks is there is a feature called compressed memory. So apparently what will happen is as, as you run out of memory, basically what's going to happen is that physical memory used to store a compressed version of data has not been used recently. So apparently what's going to happen is that... Apparently, in earlier versions of OS X, as you run out of memory, it would basically run, it would basically go to like the swap to like the hard drive, because like you run out of memory. But but in compressed memory, what happens is when you run out of memory, it will basically divide divide it and like make this RAM available. So like whatever's not used. It will compress the RAM, making you have more available RAM. So, like, let's say you had, for example, eight gigs, and like as you use your Mac like normally, and then what would happen is, as you use that eight gigs, it would start getting compressed. Oh, like as you run out of memory, it would compress it, so then you can get some memory back. So it's pretty interesting. Sorry if I'm not like on top of this, but I'm trying to the, explain the best I can. So. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I try to explain the best I can. So, but the compressed memory is quite interesting because it allows you to get RAM back as you run out of memory over time. Energy. So they have Apple introduced another new another new feature called AppNap. So apparently, so if I run like iTunes and like. Let's just say run iTunes, I'll run calendar, address book, Safari, and you know, just visit Apple's website, for example. And Apple wants to do like new technologies to save battery. So apparently what they've done so I don't know why it's not doing right now, but um but if I wasn't using it if I was like, I think if I like hit iTunes, well, it's not doing right now, but basically what AppNap does is that whatever's not being used, it'll like save energy. It'll like put it into like a sleep state, I guess I could say. iBooks, save a new application for iBooks. This isn't really interesting to me, but it's just, it's just iBook stuff. You can just read things. You can just read books. thing is maps so they've introduced Apple Maps they brought Apple Maps to the Mac so like you can search for information like these places and you know you can do everything pretty much you can do the same thing on maps Apple Maps on here as the iPhone Safari's got some new features you got sidebar some new new look for that. Top size is brand new. They also have like LinkedIn integration too, which I've never done before. This is the new this is the uh, new top sites. New top sites. And yes, Mavericks is free. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this review. Thanks for watching.